hello everyone welcome to another video of trm i'm hoping you are doing well in this video i'm going to tell you how to estimate heat losses from cavity in natural condition so here i have considered one receiver which is which is shape in cylindrical and this receiver has been considered from a research article you can see the title this is the article from where i have considered the receiver and their dimension these are the dimensions you can see according to this dimension i have modeled and created the mesh okay so this is your cavity receiver cylindrical cavity receiver in the fluent solver it consists of two surfaces one cylindrical and one end plate to estimate the heat losses from surfaces of cavity receiver i have considered a big domain compared to receiver so here you can see this is domain and inside this fluid domain the receiver is located you can see you can see the receiver and the mesh details on different surfaces and domain i'm assuming you are aware of geometric creation and meshing in the Hans's workbench so that's why I'm skipping that part and also I have some tutorial on this on this channel you can you can see that to get the idea of geometric creation and mesh generation okay so let's start from the basic step it will start from the general information in this uh, tab you can find type of solver uh, your problem is time dependent or non time dependent mainly a steady and transient a state condition and the gravity further you can find the different kind of model which includes multi phase energy viscous radiation and all and then after you have to define the material for for fluid and solid then cell joint selection further bonding condition then solution in solution you have to define different type of pressure velocity coupling then initialization and run calculation fine so here i have turned on the energy equation because this problem consists of heat losses from cavity receiver so it involves energy equation and also i have considered viscous model and the model is laminar here so the selection of selection of the viscous model depends on various factor so here i have considered laminar because the relay number of the uh, in this condition is uh, is for uh, let, let's check what is the relay number this is a relay number so this depends on the selection of model depends on relay number in natural convection so i am assuming uh, the laminar flow condition it may vary according to uh, a relay number but i am assuming okay fine there is no radiation model involved in, in this problem i am considering only connection heat losses so a radiation model is off now then define the selection define the material involved in the study i have considered air and uh, solid uh, i think there is no 
we to define solid because all are the fluid domain okay cell zone the domain should be fluid so it is there to then body condition cylindrical wall in plate insulated wall so this cylindrical wall in plate and insulation and the wall In this study, I have considered the cylindrical wall is maintained at temperature at constant temperature of 445 degrees Celsius. So I defined accordingly. You can see the body condition for the cylindrical wall. Then for the end plate, uh, it is maintained at 420. So I am considering uh, this theta at random. So maybe uh, this is not matching with the literature. So I am just demonstrating you how to define bonding condition and how to get the uh, uh, proper physics for the convection heat losses. So these are the data assumed. This is not considered in uh, maybe we will not find this data in the literature. So these are the assumed data by me. The insulated wall, as there is no conduction through the wall, wall of the receiver, and it is assumed so there is no conduction. So the, the cavity wall is vented at the cavity condition. So there is no heat losses. There is no heat flux at the surface. So we define zero. And outer wall of the domain the domain is maintained at some temperature therefore the their wall will be at the same temperature so I have considered 20 to 27 degrees Celsius for the domain wall Yeah, one thing more I forgot to tell you in material you can define the different properties of material so here I have considered different property of material as a piecewise polynomial here the, all the property has been taken temperature dependent so you can see the different piecewise polynomial equation this is the curve and the temperature range I have considered 300 to 1000 Kelvin so these are the polynomial equations derived from the data you can see this Excel diagram I have data for temperature 252 1500 Kelvin and this is density specific heat conductivity and viscosity from this data I have generated the polynomial equation through regression and this equation you can use in the uh, ANSYS in ANSYS fluent so you can define that equation in this piecewise polynomial equation Okay, now we can move to the solution part. In solution part, first step you have to define pressure velocity coupling. So, in generally, simple scheme is very famous. You can find it in literature very frequently. These are the under relaxation factor. Uh, this is modified one. I suggest you to use default value. So, this 
so now initialization now you have to initialize the solution so here i'm choosing hybrid one then iteration so for uh, this video i'm considering 100 iteration only because if i define more number of iteration it will take too much time So you can see the iteration has been started. Okay, it's fine. I think this much iteration is fine to see the contour. Okay, I'm going to stop it. Yeah, in monitor in version condition. Here the default value you can see the criteria for the convergence for the different equations. <coughs> now go to the contour and create a plane. set x y here you can see this is the contour for temperature you see you can see the contour and this is matching with the literature Okay, the contour is not given so there is one more paper reported by the same author so you can see the contours are matching this is the different paper in which the contours are reported by the author can see you are getting almost we are getting almost same type of contour so the physics is same and here you can see the total heat losses in the flux total heat transfer select all the so these are the value of heat losses from the different surfaces so I hope this is useful for your research thanks for watching if you like this video subscribe our channel share with your friend thanks your like motivates us